You know, ladies, sometimes a man looks even better to you when another woman have him. Well, it looks like if that's the case here with Miss Tamar Braxton, because Tommy Lee had this man at some game, Atlanta game, Atlanta Falcons game, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe that was the game where she was seen snapping pictures for everybody to see or roll, rolling the camera for everybody to see that she was out and about with Tamar's ex fiance Well, there's a report out that Tamar was spotted with Jeremy once again. And I'm saying to myself, Tamar, Tamar, Tamar. Child, you are not desperate. You're still a good-looking young woman. Why you think you got to pick up the vomit that you left there on the ground, you vomit out this man. He left you. So consider him vomit at this point. And now you're going to go pick up the vomit once again? So now you're going to go pick up the vomit once again. Where they do that at? Tamar, you are not desperate, honey. You are, after all, one of the Braxons, okay? The Braxon singers. The Braxton girls. So you ain't hard up for no man. You have this man believing that he's all that and a bag of chips. Have you seen him lately? I mean, really taking a good look at him. Looks like if he came from Morberry, you know, the Morberry, that little town, that hick town, with Goma Pile and Sergeant Quarter and all of them. It just looks like to me like he came from the backwoods somewhere in Tennessee, somewhere out there. And this is the man you, 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 I don't, look. Now, nah, don't come for me, Jeremy. This is your auntie speaking, okay? No malice intended. I know you're an attorney and you can sue me, but please don't come after me. I ain't got no money for you. If you come sue me, all you're going to do is you're going to be uh, shaking some empty pockets over here. I ain't got no money for you, so don't sue me. Just listen to what I got to say. Don't shoot the messenger. Just listen to the message. Okay, Jeremy and Tamar, I got to put that disclaimer out because in this climate that we live in, everybody is looking to sue. And I'm here to tell you I ain't got no money for you. That's what I'm aiming to tell you. But in any event, let's get on with this story. You know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I'm not saying Jeremy is not good looking. I'm just saying he wouldn't be on my top 10 list, my top 20, my top 100. You get my drift. Beauty is truly in the eyes of the beholder because Tamar is beholding him, honey. I don't care how much of an attorney he is, honey. When I look at Jeremy, all I see is hillbilly. That's all I see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tamar, but that's all I see. I see a hillbilly. I'm calling it like it is. Now, Jeremy, I know you're not a hillbilly, honey, but I'm just telling you that's what I see. I'm not calling you a hillbilly. That don't mean you're a hillbilly. You are what you think you are. You are an attorney who likes to mingle, okay? You like you like to play in the field and like the, the brown skin girls, all right? That's what you like. You like what you like. You know, I, I, I don't blame you. Once you go black, you know the saying, I ain't going to say it. You all, guys, you all know what I mean. You end the sentence. Once you go black, you never what? All right. Looks like if Jeremy went back to Tamar because they were spotted together. But all I'm saying is when you vomit, you don't go back and eat your vomit. You leave it right there. When you leave a man, you don't go back. And especially if he leaves you, why would you want to take him back? And he left you in public. This was a public breakup. This man said he got to find himself that you are toxic. Didn't say that in so many words, but that's what he was referencing when he said he needs to uh, get back to just tranquility 
and calm. He was sending you a message, honey. He was telling, telling you you were toxic. He needed to get away from you. And you're going to go back to that? That embarrassed you? You didn't even know this man was leaving you until he announced it over the internet. So I'm just wondering about Tamar. She must have a very low self-esteem to be taking back somebody who has left her publicly, humiliated her, embarrassed her, and then went out with this, well, took Tommy Lee out. I don't know if anything happened, but they were seen at a game. And if anything did happen, Tommy Lee is going to tell it because she don't have no filter. She don't have no sense of what is done in the boudoir should be kept there. Everything is for television and clout and views and clicks. But I guess it's official that they're back together. They wouldn't have been seen out and he wouldn't have made the statement that they need to figure it out or uh, work it out or whatever it is he said. So I guess it's official they're back together. And all I can say is desperate, 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 honey. You desperate. How desperate can you be? Because he's only going to bun you. When I say bun, for those who don't know what I mean, he's only going to cheat. He's going to hurt her. He's going to bun her so much she's going to see, she's going to think she's a star. That's how much bunning she's going to get. She's going to be looking like tar. This man has no intentions, no good intentions towards Tamar. That's how I see it. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. But from what I see with him just dropping her, for no good reason. Maybe he, he had somebody else in sight, in mind. I don't know. But he dropped her. And from what I see, he didn't have a woman at the time besides Tamar. So why would you want to drop her to find yourself and get back to peace and tranquility? Were you guys arguing to that extent that you needed to get away from that toxic relationship that you had with her? And if so, why are you back together? Why are you seen with her now? Why are you with her? So, Tamar, I'm going to have to call in Big Mama to help you out here. Because Big Mama helps everybody out in my family. She had to set one of my sister-in-law straight. This is what she told my sister-in-law. Oh, for your hell, no. Because I could put my gun finger to you. I tell her something about the girl. Know yourself. Know your place. You understand me? Because you don't know where you come from. I know my place. Yeah, you know your place in Canada. But you see me? A Kingston, Jubilee, Nirvana. I can't tell you which part that day in Jamaica. You'll get your mother. You don't know which part that day in Jamaica. Don't break your head. You understand me? So... Y'all heard Big Mama. Y'all heard what she said. She did not stutter. Let me tell you, my sister-in-law didn't mess with Big Mama going forward. Not from that day going forward. Because Big Mama said she was going to mash up her little MAGA body. Her little skinny behind. Stayed in check from that day going forward. So if you need some help, Tamar, just reach out. Reach out to your girl. And I'm going to hook you up with Big Mama. Because it looks like if Jeremy is just coming into your life to play, maybe he needs Big Mama to straighten his little behind out. So Tamar and Jeremy were spotted at the games. And what I got to say to Jeremy, don't let me call Big Mama on you. She's going to brock up your little blood cleat. If you hurt Tamar again, uh, she thinks that she got her trophy back. And I'm saying, hmm, I'm looking at her with a side eye. See, he acting a fool already. He said, who that? Who that? Tamar said, don't play with me. Child, he playing with you. Don't you understand that? This man is playing with you. All up in the sandbox. Playing with you, honey. All I got to say is player, player. I guess they come in different boxes and sizes and colors. She figures she's going to warm up on what's her name. Tommy Lee. The, the young lady who was seen at the game with him. 
Tommy Lee. What's her name, people? Tommy Lee. I forgot her name. Tommy Lee. Anyway, Tamar figures she's going to one-up on her. Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee. That's the, that's the name. So she went to the game with Jeremy. I'm saying, girl, you're one-up on her. That's not a one-up. That's looking desperate. That's what you're looking, honey. Desperate. And then Jeremy said, we can bounce back. And I'm saying, isn't that the pay? Bounce back for what? So you can leave her again in public? Tamar, guard your heart, honey. Guard your heart. I don't know who sent him, but he's out to destroy. Guard your heart. At this point, Tamar should be saying, who sent you? Who sent you? So then he said, we got to bounce back. And I'm saying, bounce back. Tamar should have bounced you and kicked you to the curb. So far that that ball would be over the moon. What's wrong with Tamar? Child, you are not desperate. You're still a good-looking young woman. You can get any man out there. So stop it. Stop it, Tamar. You're acting desperate. So according to Bossip, they have reunited. So it looks like if... Tamar and her fiancé, I guess their fiancé once again. They were at the games in Atlanta, the Falcons versus New Orleans. And I think that's the same game that T.I. and his family was at when King blew up at his family. But I just got to say this, Tamar... Stop looking at that man like if he is the best thing since whole wheat bread. You look like if you want to eat him up alive. Stop looking at the man like if you want to devour him. Good Lord. So I guess that's a good enough way to break it to the fans that they're back together. I wonder what Miss Tamar have to say for herself because her fans were so hurt that he hurt her to that extent that he didn't want her to even see him ever again. So it looks like if Mr. Jeremy is a player, okay, he's a player, player. And I'm saying to myself, are you going through a midlife crisis? That's what it seems like to me, that Jeremy is going through a midlife crisis. It's all alleged, I don't know for sure, but that's what it appears to me, that he got to sow his oats and spread his seed, no pun intended. So at the time, Bossip reported that Tamar had her car broken into and had a breakup with Jeremy on the same day. I mean, how sad was that? What was she going through that day? I can imagine to have both things happen, both things that meant a lot to her because she didn't see it coming with Jeremy. Well, so she claims. But I always maintain there are signs that a person is going to leave you. So Tamar said at the time that she kept a lot of things in the car because she don't live anywhere. And she feels very violated. But I'm saying to myself, don't she live in an apartment? She got an apartment. What does she mean she don't live anywhere? She's a working girl. She's singing. Isn't she singing? She's getting child support for the son she got with Vince. So what does she mean she don't live anywhere? She keeps every almost everything in her car. Well, I guess a lot of people are saying that's just for the insurance to write it off, you know. Maybe she had a $10 million ring in the car and a $40,000 watch, one of them Rolex watches in the car. Listen, I smell a rat here that Tamar is about to write off a lot of stuff that wasn't even in the car. Allegedly. So at the time, Tamar said she didn't feel safe anywhere. And I said, well, you got your sisters. You got Tony with a big old house. You and Logan can go live there. You got to be living out your car. Is that what she was telling us? She was living out her car? She said she had a lot of stuff, almost all her stuff in the car. I don't know how you can have almost all your stuff in the car or a lot of stuff when it's a little old itty bitty car and you got a whole bunch. Tamar's clothes alone couldn't fit in that car. She would need a U-Haul truck to fit all her clothes. Oh, she was telling a little lie. She was fibbing, all right? So JR, as she likes to call him, took to Instagram to call off the engagement. Now, I'm telling you, he would have never set eyes on me again, much more put his nasty paws on me.
He also said at the time that he's got his own money because he's a successful attorney because a lot of people were saying that he was trying to chase after her money and he was there for cloud and wanted the camera time and all this here. He said, no, I got my own. He also said he couldn't do anything about the break-in at her mother's place. So I'm saying to myself, I couldn't help but think, what kind of neighborhood are they living in that a mother's place got broken into? Tamar's car got broken into. It sounds like the hood to me. Hmm? What does it sound like to you guys? Drop it in the comment section. This is hood life. When you got out so many break-ins, people break. I know, I know, I know. Some of you are going to say, you can live in a rich neighborhood and your house can still be broken into. Yes, I know. So I'm going to take that back. So they are trying to make a go at this second time around. What do you all think? You all think they're going to make it? <laughs> or within six months, this relationship is going to be done for good? Drop it in the comments section. But let me remind Jeremy that if he hurt our Tamar again, I'm calling in Big Mama. This is what Big Mama have to say. Let me remind you. You hear that, Jeremy? We are going to broke up your little maga body. If you mess with Tamar once again, anytime you hurt her, we're going to broke up your little maga body, okay? Anyway, guys, I'm over now. Drop your comments. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like bell before you leave the page and subscribe if you haven't done so as yet. Thank you for watching.